We're in the rental stand here. If you took a mark out here, just right down there in front of the rental stand, it was louder than the MCG. This, you know, this group heat was just, the roar was fantastic. Because you were so close, and it was just all concentration with the roof of SM supporters. And you went to Vic Park and they hated you. And they'd be, you know, I've, I've said to people now that you can't, you know, you, you've got to have come up with a really good insult because I've been spat on by Collingwood supporters out of Vic Park. I mean, unless it's a really good insult, I'm not going to get upset. You know? <laughs> Apparently some very, very funny guys over here on the wing. And they, people used to take their, you know, everybody used to have their own place. Even when you stood, there was their own place. And there was a player called Alan Reid, and, and he, they started to go, when he got the ball, they started to go, Reid, 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 and it sort of built up. And one time I was out at centre half back, and he got the ball on the wing, and I remember it actually interrupted, interrupted me because it started, went, Reid, 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 right around three, three quarters of the ground. And I sort of went, watching the game, went, geez, that's impressive. And you know, people had the same seats, and the only time they would have seen those people was when they came to the football. And then in between seasons and away games, I wouldn't see them, but the home ground. And, they, and yeah, I've heard stories of people bringing their, bringing their, you know, scones and jams and creams or their biscuit or their extra cup of coffee for the, the like the met her, and, and it became the regular that you brought a cup of coffee for him, or you know, lollies for the family, etc. I'm really pleased that the um, clubs seen fit to have their own VFL side and wear the Essendon colours and play their home games here. And I reckon that's fantastic because that, that connects to history. I mean, Essendon's moved grounds a number of times. You look at the history, there was different places before they were even at Windy Hill. They were even in East Melbourne at one stage. I don't know, that's not, not my idea of Essendon in any way, shape or form. You, you, you don't, you're not beholden to the past, but you, you have to remember it and, and, and if in the right times, cherish it. So it's a, I think it's very good, but it's interesting people talk about the way the game's changed. A ground like Windy Hill, in the middle of, remember in, we're in the middle of a residential area. So you can't all of a sudden go, oh, let's just expand out here, or let's expand out there. You're confined to four streets of residential properties and schools, etc. So in the ever, ever changing, ever growing world of AFL football, which is now a national league, realistically you can't, you can't be beholden to this and say this is our, our home ground. Um, but having a connection to it and having a connection to the past, I think is really, really good.